Yo, go see this movie. Nerd Soul. Late LK at one youngster holding it down, bringing that streak geek and nerd soul. What is up, my people, today? Oh, yeah, we're coming with another wonderful episode of movie reviews. And straight up, this is non spoiler. I'm not going to give away the movie, I'm not going to give away spoilers, so you don't have to worry about that. You can stay right here and be comfy with a brother. But of course, we're going to be talking about Star Wars The Last Jedi. Look, this movie is amazing. Let me talk about the acting straight up everyone comes to play. There's no, nobody's whack in this. Like there's nobody in this movie where you look at their performance, you're like, Psh, bruh. Like, yo, Lorna Dern, uh, you know, Carrie Fisher, B John Boyega, um, Poe da <laughs> po Dameron, you know what I mean. <laughs> like, uh, Rosemary Tran, I mean, Carrie Matrans. Like, yo, look, I'm, I'm still bugging on how dope it is. That's why my words is messing up. Look, Carrie Marie Trans, uh, Oscar Isaac, all of them guys, they come to play. General Hux's character, uh, Donald Gleason is dope. Adam Driver is dope. Like, like, yo, I'm trying to, no spoilers, but everyone's acting is up to par. This is, this is amazing because everybody takes this seriously. They came to play. Like you're looking at, you're looking at the acting version of like the 90s Bulls right now. Like this movie is acted very well. Now since acting in a movie is of course the meat and potatoes, we got that out the way. Let's talk about how this film looks because it is beautiful. Like all of the sets are fresh, man. Like of course, uh, Crate is a beautiful planet. You get to see it's even more beautiful when you get there. The space battles are beautiful. There is so much visually to feast your eyes on. Uh, the intricate detail of all of the, the outfits and the uniforms and the, just the customary designs of like ships, there is just, there is so much that they really put into to make sure even the minute detail was was just right. It was it was it was rusted just right, or worn just right, or or very clean and proper. You know, it, they really put their stamp on. This is Star Wars. This is Star Wars now, and this is Star Wars going forward. Because visually, this thing is a cut above. And I mean, Star Wars has always looked beautiful, but this is. This is, our technology is incredible now. So acting wise, you're gonna love it. Visually, you're really going to get into it. But what about the direction? Which kind of ties the, the acting and the visuals together, which is, you know, these scenes aren't over long. These scenes aren't overdrawn. These scenes aren't horribly played out. They're also shot and blocked well. You also get a great pacing in this film. There is just so, much to love about how this film flows through the story. And it is really a sight to behold. Just on a, on a filmmaking level, this thing is fantastic. Now, there's a couple more things that I'm gonna leave y'all with. It's not spoiler, but I think it's something that you should definitely know. But of course, Kuro Brand, go help us pay them bills. Yeah, that's right. Check yourselves out some fresh stuff at the link below for curobrand.com. Shirts, hats, all that good stuff. Of course, see what you like, copy. Okay, one of the biggest things that I wanted to say to you guys is this might be my favorite Star Wars movie. This is probably cracking the top three, maybe top two. This movie is really that good. This movie has everything. It's funny, it's serious. People have consequences. Folks learn things. There's character arcs. There's meanings. There's deeper meanings. There's there's such a there's a subconscious 
pretext in this that you can dig and pick at for years. And I can't wait to get on like Story Geeks or something and talk about how deep this is on another level, but on the surface level, this movie is so fun. It's action packed. There is funny lines and it's hilarious and it's, it's heartwarming and it's soul crushing. There's so many parts of this that like really, truly do just morph and blend this, this hodgepodge of what we experience in life into Star Wars. And it is incredible. I have never seen a Ryan Johnson movie before. I am truly a fan now. This movie is something that you need to see at least twice. And if you see it once, like, I don't know. You you gotta at least see it at like AMC Prime or something. I don't know. Hashtag not sponsored. But you like this movie is something that needs to be seen on the big screen and fast. So guys, if you have not ordered your tickets, you need to order your tickets. Uh, maybe if you're in LA, you might see it with me. I don't know, but definitely check it out. For all those folks that have seen the movie, if you wanna holler at me, I'm gonna holler at you down below, but let's keep it spoiler free. All right, spoiler free. Just very vague. It was the acting good? Was the direction good? Did you like the editing or something? Did you like the effects? That's it. Nothing else. Guys, go see this movie. It is so dope. If you ever liked anything about Star Wars, this movie is definitely for you. So, of course, before I bounce, I gotta tell you guys to hit up thatnerdsoul.com. That's right, check me out right there. All my videos for my oldest, newest, latest, greatest, and all that. Then hit up shop.thatnerdsoul.com and pick yourself up a t-shirt player. And don't forget to get one for them players. Then come back here, like, comment, subscribe, and share that nerd soul. That's right. There is no better way that I can show people that you like what you are watching. So, LA, what up? VA, what up? RVA, you got my heart. And please be good to yourselves. Please be good to each other. And remember, y'all, may the force be with you. Peace. Mm -hmm.